Hey, welcome to my house. As some of you know, Megan and I bought our first house over the summer, which is where we are currently. Ever since I announced that, people were asking for a house tour video, and I didn't want to do it because there was a lot of things I wanted to change, and some things I have changed since we moved into the house, many things that I'd like to keep working on. That's one thing I've learned since buying a home. There's things that you could work on and choose to change and try to fix every single weekend, which is what I've been doing a lot lately. So I hope you guys can see the idea of what I want the home to look like. I'll mention throughout the video some things that I'd like to work on. Maybe you guys can share your ideas or thoughts on our space in the comment section below because I'm not an interior designer. Megan is not an interior designer. This is our first home. So we're trying to figure this all out and we are gonna take you over to the left right now. Well, it's your right, my left, to show you the Christmas tree. This video is being filmed in December. We buy real Christmas trees in this household. This is the fourth or fifth Christmas tree Megan and I have gotten together as a couple, I'm not sure. I sawed it down myself, like a real alpha male. Can you get close to this uh, ornament here? My grandmother got this for us. She's very excited, we are expecting a baby. So this is the ornament for us expecting a child. Also, during the Christmas season, great sales on electronics. I got this TV, 65 inch. Oh, by the way, anything I talk about in this video, I'll try to find a link of it online and link it in the description. I know I've watched home tour videos and I'll, or office tours and I'll see things that people have in their homes and I'm like, oh, I wanna buy that. Where is that? What is that product? So I'll try to go through this video and get as many products as possible that I have in this home in the description below if you want to check them out. This is a 65 inch TCL 4K TV. It was a, a doorbuster deal at Walmart for Black Friday. I went to a Walmart that is in kind of an isolated part of the state that not many people go to. At 12.20 a.m. I walked in and there was no line and this was the, there was five TVs for sale and this was the fourth one. So just walked out with it. Pretty good deal on a 65 inch TV. I've never had a TV this large. As you can see, the cable situation is very messy right now. We got the Wi-Fi router, we have a power strip, we have an antenna, which kind of works, kind of doesn't work, trying out a bunch of different things to get television channels on the television. So it's a mess, but that is my weekend project this weekend is to fix this and other things. But right now I wanted to show you guys something I'm very happy with, our couch. So this is a Love Sack couch. It's called a Sactional. Love Sack is a company I worked with before. You may have seen some of their products in my videos or my friends' videos. They provided me with this couch for our new home. Megan and I really love it. As you can see, my cat Finn also really loves it. So thank you to Love Sack. There's a link in the top of the description if you want to check out their products like this couch or just their very comfortable sacks, which you will also see in other parts of my house. As you can tell, I really love this company. And what I love most about this couch in particular and all of their couch models, their sectionals, are that they are modular. So you can move around the pieces of the couch to sort the couch how you want it for comfort or for style. For example, Megan and I have the sections of this couch in a four by four piece and then there's kind of an end piece over here right now for watching movies. We like to sit next to each other on the four by four piece when we watch Netflix or whatever we watch on television. Let me show you a couple of different ways you could organize this couch, how we would have it if we were having a party at the house or if we, actually, let me just show you the, the normal way that it would sit and then how I think I wanna have it in the future. So this is how I would have the couch if we were having a party, if we were having people over make the couch long this way and long that way. You have the long runner piece here that multiple people could sit on. Or if just one of us wanted to relax, Megan or myself, and lie on the long part of the couch, we could have it like this. And there's this other side over here. I'm not gonna move it because, oh, that was physically exhausting. The, the pieces aren't extremely heavy. I am just out of shape. Uh, but I think in the future, I might wanna get a chair, maybe a rocking chair for Megan and I's child that will be here next year and put that right here and then move this piece to where my feet are now and move the end of the couch over and then have the rocking chair there. So that's my cool couch that I wanted to show you guys. Again, link in the description. Thanks to the people at Love Sack, love their products. Speaking of Love Sack and more of their products that are in my favorite area of the house, I'm gonna take you guys upstairs 
to my favorite area of the house right now. So we're in the loft. This house has a loft and I really like it. I filmed a couple of videos up here, some of the last vlogs that I uploaded on this channel because it's a space that I like to hang out in. It's a space that I like to write stuff in or try to come up with video ideas in. Megan got this nice little desk here from Ikea and this nice chair, which is small, but it fits tall people and my legs can fit under the desk. These are considerations you have to make when you have the shape of multiple human looking spaghetti noodles glued together, which is me. So that's the desk. A little messy up here, as you can see, this is the cable raceway project I'm gonna do this weekend that I did not do before I filmed this video. Some stuff we need to hang on the walls. Another love sack that I've shown in a previous video. This was in my office at my last place. My friend Sidearms fell asleep in this love sack like this. It was a beautiful sight. It's a nice place to just relax. There's a skylight up there. There's some good natural light up here. Got a bookshelf and some storage space and a whiteboard. I imagine this being an area our children hang out in and hopefully they don't jump off the banister. We'll have to do something about that. Speaking of future children, which Megan and I want to have multiple, this is where they would sleep. There's two bedrooms upstairs, technically two bedrooms downstairs and our master bedroom is on the main floor. There is, if you can just bring the camera in here a little bit, a bathroom. This is Finn's room right now. It's just where we're storing a lot of stuff. We don't have anything in here because it's just Megan and I that are here, but you know, hoping to have kids in the future, already have one on the way, hoping to have multiple like we said. And this is another room where kids would be. No kids yet, but a uh, leftover curtain from the previous tenants, which is really cool. So obviously we're gonna be doing stuff with these rooms, but we don't have the kids yet. There's actually a lot of, whatever kid we have, boy or girl, as you can see, the rooms are already blue and pink, but we're just gonna base what room we want to have the baby's room in based on what we're feeling and probably repaint it anyway. I don't know what room we're gonna choose. I need to get that stuff done though, because you know four months is gonna be here before we know it, so that's a big project to figure out which room is gonna be the baby's room in the next couple of months and go from there. So that's what the upstairs looks like. Not a ton up here because we are a small family right now, but we are gonna go head back downstairs and I will show you guys the kitchen and Megan and I's master bedroom. So now I'm gonna take you guys into the kitchen. This is the dinner table that Megan and I just got. We got off of our old passed down college dinner table and upgraded to a new dinner table this holiday season. It's tall, which is nice. My mom gave us this seasonal centerpiece. We have to find a new centerpiece for when it's not Christmas time, but that is the seasonal centerpiece. Also, got a wine rack that was a wedding gift that has some wine in it that Megan can't drink right now, but we're storing it up for wine drinking summer of 2019 is what they're calling it in the press. This is from Target, just some covers for these doors because you know want some privacy in the dining room we'll change these eventually not really sure what we want to do in terms of covering this area I guess you can see previous tenants had a rack above here and then just curtains that went across it I guess that would be the best thing to do so you don't drill directly into the door but not really sure what we want to do there I really like these countertops these are in all the bathrooms too it's a painted on countertop but it's really easy to clean and it never really looks dirty because it's dark and it feels nice. I got my coffee stuff over here. I've been messing around with coffee a lot at home because I really like coffee. Got my pour over stuff, my milk frother, my cold brew, little mason jar that I got on Amazon that I really like. And then I use this clear jug to water our Christmas tree. So nothing too exciting in the kitchen, barely new appliances our wine fridge that again is not in use because when 50% of the people in the house can't drink wine, we drink a lot less wine. Uh, let's take you guys to the master bedroom right now. So this is our master bedroom, main floor master, like I said, right behind the kitchen. There's a bathroom right next to the master bedroom. And this is our same bedspread that we had at the last place. It might look familiar to you. Got this heavy blanket off Amazon. I really like it for the cold winter months. It makes you feel secure. I have these little flannel things laying on the bed because 
I've cleaned up so much for this video. The house is not normally like this, so I, I just couldn't do two more pieces of clothing. They, they stay there. And you can just imagine the bed without them. That's what it looks like when it's clean. So now we're gonna head into the closet. I, a lot of you guys ask me about shoes. I'm not as big into shoes as I used to be. I sold off a lot of shoes. I got some shoes recently that, that I wanted to show to you guys. Paul George 2. I saw a lot of people on my timeline got these. Uh, these are the uh, PlayStation, I believe, 2.5 Paul George 2s. If you guys like video games, if you guys are epic gamers, these are cool, I guess. I might hold on to them. I don't know if I'm going to use them, but they light up. I don't want to hit the light, though. I want to keep them dead stock and nice until I can decide if I actually want to wear them or if I just want to sell them. But that's what I'm hanging on to for now. I'm not going to have my friend come into the closet with me. Well... We could make a lot of jokes at this portion of the video, but there's a little shoe rack I have that I have to creep down for where I keep all my shoes. Uh, I don't think I have anything here you guys haven't already seen. My latest shoes that I really like that I've been wearing a lot are the uh, Court Purple Jordan 1s. I really, really like these. I'm trying to keep them nice. But I just have a shoe rack with cool shoes that I like wearing, boots that I like wearing in the winter. It gets really cold in Michigan, so I have a couple of pairs of boots and some running shoes. Nothing too special. Now I'm gonna take you guys to where I film my YouTube videos in the basement. So let's go there. So this room is a storage room. I'm not gonna open that because that's where I threw everything in the basement that was messy before I started filming this video. This is my office, which could use a lot of work, could use some paint, Got stuff I wanna hang on the wall, art from people that I've got over the years. And I can make it look a lot cooler. I'll probably do a separate office tour video in the future when it does look a lot cooler. This is one thing I wanna show off though. I think I've showed it off before, but it's really convenient for people who wanna record gaming videos. The Elgato portable green screen, retractable green screen. I don't know what the cool name is for it, but it just goes up and it goes down. So that's really convenient for streaming. Over here, we have the common area in the basement where I hang out sometimes if I don't want to hang out upstairs or in the loft. Another love sack here, the Black Ops 4 love sack. Shouts out love sack for all the cool stuff. This one is very large and very comfortable. I'm gonna poof down in it for a second. That is a term for when you get inside of a love sack, poofing down, all right. Yeah, so this is something you could just sink into and think about all the hardships of the day and then they just go out of your body in some in some way i'm not a therapist i don't know what i'm talking about uh, but this is really comfortable and i picture this being another hangout area we're probably going to have someone move in with us to live down here so they could hang out with us down here it's a family member by the way so it's not like a weird megan and, you know if you're into that that's cool but you know megan and i we're good but we're probably gonna have a family member move in with us and then this could be a hangout area, the common area downstairs. The last part of the house I wanted to show you, well, actually, if you could just come over here for a second. I did want to show you guys my biggest home buying mistake. So we were doing a final walkthrough of the home and uh, Megan and I thought we were going to have a washer and dryer because it wasn't mentioned in the home buying documents that the people were taking the washer and dryer, the people who were moving out. So it's like, oh, we'll have a washer and dryer. Uh, but you know, this is a first time home buyer mistake. We go through the final inspection on the last day and there's no washer and dryer here where there previously was a wash, washer and dryer every other walkthrough that we've had. So we ended up having to buy a new washer and dryer, but it was around Labor Day. So we got some Labor Day sales and these are LG washer and dryers that have an associated app, which is pretty cool. Kind of nice to get something new. Not super nice to have an extra a thousand or maybe it was two thousand dollars i don't know an, an extra expense on top of buying a house which is a large expense but that's my mistake so don't don't do what i did get every single thing in writing if you want it in the house if it's not attached to the wall via something that cannot be removed get it in writing that you want it in the house if you're buying a house last part of the house that i wanted to show you downstairs bathroom and bedroom this is an annoying humming sounds coming from the vent because the ventilation system and light are hooked up to one switch. A lot of work that I might wanna do in this bathroom in particular, uh, because I do not fit in this shower. 
old school claw shower. I think this is real porcelain. If it's not, it's way too heavy. It's definitely real porcelain. And might wanna get rid of this and set up another shower, but I know bathroom improvements are really expensive. So that's kind of a long-term, possibly before baby project, but something I'm looking into. Let me turn off that annoying humming noise. And then this is our guest bedroom where we'll probably have an occupant in the near future. I don't really wanna show you too much. It's not too special. Again, we haven't done really anything upstairs or downstairs. Most of the work has been on the main floor. So that's the whole house. I have actually, just hang on there for a second. This is where I keep my, my costumes. So hot dog and hot dog and SpongeBob. And I, I have a whole box of costumes in this room that'll be moved. That was totally worth showing you guys. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching the home tour video. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. If you have any tips or tricks or interesting things you wanted to share with me in the comment section below, I would appreciate it. Thanks again to Love Sack for all the cool products that are throughout this home and that I'm very comfortable. I appreciate you guys and until the next video, bye bye.